So I'm in college and I had never been to a strip club before. Gotta be honest, it's not really my scene. I don't understand the point of paying to blue balls yourself. Besides, you're not getting the cream of the crop at your local town strip bar. The only 10 you'll see is stuck between Diamond C-section scar. Anyway, so I'm out drinking with a couple of friends and we didn't have any house parties to go to. So one of my friends says, Bro, let's go to the strip club. I'm like, nah, let's just hit up another bar. But my buddy is insistent. He's like, come on, dude, it'll be fun. I'll pay for you to get a lap dance. So I explain I had never been to a strip club before, nor had the desire to. Well, as soon as I said that, all of my friends were like, dude, we gotta go to the novelty lounge. Now, normally I would say no, but I had just enough alcohol in me to be like, hmm, all right. So we get to the club, and as soon as we walk through the door, my first thought was, it is way too bright in here. Whenever I see strip clubs in movies, there's black lights or at least mood lighting. But this place had bright fluorescent lights. I'm like, I thought you said this was a strip club, not Bed Bath & Beyond. Now, there was only one dancer working that evening, and to be honest, she was pretty tough to look at. If she had a celebrity look-alike, it'd be Amy Winehouse after the overdose. If I had to describe her in one word, it would be defeated. She was in her early 20s and somehow already developed a hunch. She was literally built to pick up dollar bills off the ground, but sadly, no one was throwing any. You see, there were only about eight people in the bar total, and not one of them was paying attention to her. Probably because she looked less like a stripper and more like a make-a-wish kid. Anyway, she's twerking in front of a giant mirror covered in fingerprints and, I'm assuming, hepatitis. There's no speaker system in the place, and the only thing playing music is a boombox next to the stage. At one point, the song gets stuck, and she has to fix it herself. Luckily, like I mentioned earlier, she is permanently bent over, so it didn't take her long. Anyway, I begin to giggle at all the cringeness when a middle-aged man walks in, sits down, and throws a $1 bill at the lady. I'm doing that whisper yelling where I'm like, bro, bro, is that a $1 bill he threw on the stage? I'm rocking, trying to contain myself, when I see the man do a little, come here, motion. The girl ignores it at first, but the man again gives a little come here motion. The lady, who is already bent over, bends down further, and the man says, you remind me of my daughter. Then throws another one dollar bill at the lady. Now I'm laughing even harder, and my friends are like, bro, quiet down, you're gonna get kicked out. I'm like, this guy just expressed his incest fantasy to a stranger in public. <laughs> my friends are like, seriously, you need to shut up. Then the bouncer, a large black man, comes over saying, you need to leave. I'm like, if anyone should be kicked out, it's Captain Taboo over here. That's when he grabbed my arm and reality set in. He drags me to the door, tosses me out, but luckily three guys were walking in at the time and they essentially catch me. One guy just yells, dude! And I'm like, oh, my B! And I just hustle away, hysterically laughing. So you may think the story ends there, but a week later I'm sitting down getting my oil changed when a man walks in that looks oddly familiar. You ever look at someone being like, I know this person. The hell do I know this person from? That's when it hit me. It's the incest guy from the strip club. And now this is a little f***ed up, but um, his paperwork was on the table, so I glanced over to see his name. Then on a hunch, I plugged his name into the sex offender's registry list, and it turns out he's a level two sex offender. Not only that, but he has a wedding band on his finger that definitely wasn't there when he was in the strip club. I'm like, oh shit, maybe this guy wasn't looking for a lap dance. Maybe, just maybe, he was looking for his next victim. So that is my one and only time in the strip club. My friends and I had plans to go back a few years later to see if the hunchback was still working, but we found out through Facebook she had a new job. Care to take a guess what it is? Well, I'm sorry, you were wrong. It's cat therapist. Yeah, apparently that's a real thing, which does make sense because she didn't like showing off her mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.